guys on today's video we're going to be updating your apps right here on your mac so let's get started on the top left hand side of our screen we're going to see the apple logo go right into your app logo you're going to see your app store and system settings in system settings that's where we download anything that's related to our mac os so any updates will be there other than that in the app store that's where we're going to see everything that has to do with our apps so once we load this up, you're going to see this and whichever apps need updating, you're going to see them here loaded up. Now, if you don't see them here, don't worry about it. You can always go into search. So that's on the top left hand side, for example, and we're going to type in Final Cut Pro just in case you don't see it there. Then you're going to see this popping up. You're going to see update on the top right hand corner. You can tap there just to update it or we can always go back into updates. So it's going to be on the left hand side, bottom updates and you're gonna see them there. You can always update one at a time or you can update all of them at the same time. So what we can do is to update every single app, we can go on the top right hand side, update all, and it's just gonna update both of them. Right now, there's only two of them that needs update, but any other app that would need an update would have to go here. After the done downloading and installing, you will see them down here below where you see all these other apps. It says update recently. So for example, compressor should drop down there soon. And Final Cut Pro is still downloading. Now each one, you should see how big it is. So this one's only 300 megabytes. That's why it downloaded so fast. And this one is three gigs, so significantly bigger. Now the download speed does depend on your internet speed. If you want this to go faster, you can hook up your Mac to your modem using ethernet cable. That's if you want this to go faster. Other than that, just wait for it. It should just download by itself. You should be good to go. And of course, this is how to update apps right here on the latest Mac OS. So while Final Cut Pro is just finishing up, we're gonna go on and open up Compressor. So here's Compressor. Let's just open it up and we're gonna see anything new that's with it. And any other app that you guys just did an update for, you would see anything that's new with it as well. So here's Compressor. I'm just gonna close it for now and Final Cut Pro should almost be done. Usually whenever there's an update for Final Cut Pro, there will be a message telling you something about the libraries. We're gonna see if that's the case right now. So right now, finally, Final Cut Pro is done. I can just go on and open it up from here, or I can just look it up on my Mac. Once I open up Final Cut Pro, it's just gonna run. This would be, again, the latest version. We're gonna get this screen, which tells us whatever is new. We can see a complete feature list right here, or just going into continue, and that's about it. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.